Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to What's for Dinner. Dinner. Hello. What do we have going on here tonight? Well, tonight we made uh, drumsticks, chicken drum chicken drumsticks. Okay, in the air fryer. Yep, I just um, sprayed it with avocado oil and then just put garlic and um, Jane's crazy and some of this good stuff on yeah. there. We'll go back to that in a second, but yeah. Um, okay. So then I have another tray, and I'm just gonna leave it in there to keep it warm. But I just cooked two trays of it, a big pack. Yeah. In the air fryer, it probably took about 30 to 40 minutes. Then we get do like 165 is what our uh, sweet spot is, and we know they're done at 165. Yeah, but these were much higher than that. Yeah. Okay. What's what's this over here? Yay, eggs. Eggs. Right, what a have, shocking thing. Yeah, we don't have the farm fresh tonight, though, huh? No. Okay. And then what do we have going on over here? This looks really Spinach good. Spinach dip. So, yeah. and let me get the. Well, I'll um I'll snapshot a, a picture of the recipe and put it in the comments. So okay. it's just cream cheese, spinach, sour cream, uh, mozzarella, Parmesan, and then fresh, fresh pressed garlic that you pressed in there. Okay. How long does that take to cook? So, you know, this took a little longer because I took it out of the fridge so it was cold. So I would say 30 to 40, 50 minutes. Okay. You prepped this last night or, or this morning. You had I, it right, I did it this going. morning, yeah. Yeah. So, um, oh, and then for our, we, we added a little something tonight. So, you know, Teresa and I like the Redmond salt and we like the Jane's crazy mixed up salt, but you can also see we added in a couple of, um, just options. We're not going to probably have any of this with our chicken tonight, but, um, there's a uh, sugar-free barbecue sauce and honey mustard dressing, and you can use that for your wings and whatnot. And, uh, that stuff you can find in, um, in Walmart. So they've got it just about everywhere now. Yeah. And they have the grocery stores. So any of this stuff that we uh, we cooked, or I should say you I should say you cooked, well, any of this stuff that you cooked tonight caused our blood sugar and insulin to spike? Or I'm sorry, to rise, to raise, to go up. It will not. Okay. Only if you add carbohydrates. The only way your sugar goes up is by eating sugar, which carbohydrates is still sugar, so. Okay. And listen, like I said before, everything is a bell curve. Most of us fit up here for most everything, but you have outliers. So we are telling you basic stuff up here that most people will find effective, but sometimes you have to tweak it and figure out for yourself. So I was just on Facebook while I was waiting for this to finish and it's within a couple minutes of each other, I found someone that said, you know, something about menopause, fast this way in menopause, don't fast this way, or, you know, like everyone has conflicting info. You just have to find what works for you. Okay. And that entails a little bit of experimentation on your part, mm, you know? Yeah. So just figuring out what works for you. Mark and I are back to eating two meals a day, probably this whole this whole year. Yep. Um, so we did. I did, or at least I did, one meal a day for about a year, and um, it worked really well for me. And I got ripped. I was down to about nine percent body fat. Was um, doing fasted workouts, sprint workouts, you know, um, lifting at the gym, you know, doing resistance training, and um, but eventually my body, you know, started pushing back a little bit. The one meal a day wasn't enough. How did I know that? I start. I kept um, close eye on. Um, not, Teresa was keeping a close eye on my blood work. And then I was doing regular uh, body composition analysis. So about every three months I did that. And I saw that after about a year, I started to lose a little bit of lean muscle mass. My, uh, my body fat went up a little couple clicks. Um, not a lot, but you know, like a percent or so or 2%. And then um, my, um, what do you, my resting metabolic rate, which is the uh, amount of calories that I burn every 24 hours at rest, um, just to keep me alive was actually going down and that's not the direction. So I think what was happening is my body was starting to, um, you know, cannibalize or tap into some of my, um, some of my muscle and use that for, for, uh, for fuel. And we don't want that. We want to make sure that we preserve our, our, our muscle and our protein. Your body fat was probably too low to eat one meal a day. Yeah. And that's the other thing too. I think, so my body, it wasn't, that wasn't my sweet spot. My body pushed back and when it did, I had to listen to it. So I went back to eating two meals a day, increased the food a little bit, backed off a little bit on the gym and, and, um, anyway, so it, it that worked for me. Yeah. So yeah. we have, that's what you have to do. You have to find what works for you. Yeah. Just like hormones. I do hormones completely different from a lot of people, but I follow the literature. Yeah. You know, so you got to find what works for you. Yeah. And there's all kinds of people that do, they do, some people do pellets, some people do yes. injections, some people do cream, some people do oral. It's all over the place. Yes. And it's, um, if you go online and you look it all up, there's a million different choices and there's a million different opinions and, um, yeah. Yep. So, uh, what, what questions do you guys have for us that we can talk about one time. Is this still helpful for you guys? Um, you know, just let us know in the comments. Yeah. Share this page with people who have diabetes or struggling, you know, anyone that you think can help. Yeah, people who are trying to lose fat, um, you know, uh, any, any, anybody who just, you know, wants to reach out with any questions, we're more than happy to answer them for you. Yep. And, uh, and we're here for you guys. And just, uh, just let us know what you're having for dinner. 
And did you have anything else you wanted to go over tonight? That's it. No, that was short and sweet tonight. It We're was. Like four minutes, so five minutes. Oh, good. I'm yeah, glad. It's, it's a quick one. But anyway, all right, guys. Well, we hope we see you at church tonight. It's yes. Wednesday. And we love you all. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.